Welcome to Wanted, non-fiction and exploration in documentary film from an industry perspective. My name is Amy and it is my pleasure to host the seminar today. Um, I'm going to wait no further. I'm going to introduce our four guests today straight away. Um, we're very privileged to have them here today. They're all vastly different with many different experiences and um, opinions and interests. Each of them has one thing in common though. They all have a substantial and notable contribution to documentary film in Melbourne. So we're going to start first with Terry Cantwell. My background is in print journalism. I was a newspaper reporter for many years and a radio producer. Uh, my world was words. Visual stuff didn't, didn't register with me, but we did a story. And I had a friend who works for Channel 7, and he said to me, this is too good for print. And I thought, well, that's a bit, a bit kind of rude, isn't it? But anyway, but I, I got what he meant because it, it was a very visual story. So our next guest is Genevieve Bailey. Genevieve is the producer and creator of a film named I Am Eleven. It was filmed over six years in 15 countries. It was an absolutely massive, massive project. Moi, j'ai toujours rêvé qu'il n'y ait plus de frontières du tout, que le monde serait un seul pays. Comme ça, il y aurait plus de Every time I see clips of the kids, I'm glad I made a film about awesome people and not horrible people, because I've, um, as you've mentioned, I've spent many years on this project, and every time I see them, I get happy to see their faces and their words of wisdom. Our next guest is John Hughes. John has been um, working in this industry for over 30 years as a writer, as a director, as a producer. He was the, recept he was the receiver of the Stanley Hawes Award for Outstanding Contribution to Australian Documentary in 2006. My dear love, this is an official announcement. I have now had to destroy your letters to save others from persecution as well as myself. Uh, yes, I've been working in documentary for um, a long time. I'm happy to talk to, about to the issues that are uh, on the agenda for today. And that's all I've got to say for the moment. Our last guest for today is Maya Ganip. She is a producer at Ghost Pictures. Um, notably, she is a producer behind the film In Bob We Trust, which is, um, of course, a documentary about the Melbourne pre um, priest father, Bob Maguire. dearly like to get me out of a recognised position within their structured church, because I'm an embarrassment. See, they personalise it. Bob McGuire, Bob McGuire, Bob McGuire. Hello, my name is Maya. I'm a producer at Ghost Pictures. We made In Bob We Trust. It premiered in, at MIF in 2013, exactly a year ago. He was about to be sort of kicked out of his parish, but quickly, sort of, without, without even thinking, sort of, we grabbed the, the, cam the cameras, we were there, we asked, oh, can we film? And at that stage, he was just like, yes, yes, so someone needs to know. <laughs> if you have a great idea, but your participant doesn't want to be a part of it, at what point do you walk away from the idea? Fairly quickly. <laughs> I mean, you know, obviously plead your case and show them your passion and try and make, you know, gain their trust. And if they really don't want to do it, then I wouldn't be twisting anyone's arms? Well, I'm reminded of Waiting for Fidel, classic film by Mike Rubo, uh, where a team of people go from Canada to interview um, Fidel Castro. Uh, they think they've got an interview with him booked and he never comes. But it's one of the first films that establishes the idea of the first person narrator on screen as a kind of you know alternative non-journalistic uh, uh, narrator. So there are ways to do it without the participation of the character. You build the film around that fact. Yeah, um, I agree with both of you. If someone doesn't want to be in the film, I'd, you know, you do, you plead your case, but you don't, you know, without it, if you sort of try and sort of plead your case too much and try and tell them what you, you know, only the parts that they want to hear, you're going to run into really big problems pretty quickly anyway. So, but if you really want to tell the story, chances are that there are other ways to tell the story. What can I say? That was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much to the four of you. That was...
Thank you.